Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Underrail Expedition with me, Bring It Down. A soft camera went back to the station, managed my inventory. Uh, I've sold what I could, dropped off everything else, including all my crafting materials. So we're actually really good in uh, regards to carry weight right now. Also, I got a bunch of grenades. I don't think I had these last episode. I think I had one. Anyway, uh, let's bust into these ventilation shafts and have a look-see. I quit my spear just to be safe. Alright, so these are the ventilation shafts right next to the entrance. No need to bust them open. Not entirely sure where this one lets out at, so let's uh Okay. Not super exciting. I don't think there's anything up here actually of note, but uh never hurts to check. Now I'm curious. We'll finish exploring the ventilation shafts, then we're gonna go this way. So I don't know, what's over there? Right, so those are the three along the western wall that we saw. And it looks like the only way to get to this right here is to go through that ventilation shaft there, so we'll do that real quick. I do really like the uh, the ambiance of the ventilation shafts. Okay, so this one is separate from the rest. I don't think that takes us anywhere new, even though it is segregated like that. Yeah. My ventilation shaft has been mapped out. Let's just exit out of this one. Oh, nope, haven't been in here yet. Grenade, another Omega ID card. An adrenaline shot. Bandage and some ammunition. Did I just not see this door? I have no idea. What's over here then? Hmm. I guess it takes us down to the next level. That's right, blue is always down, descending. Or ascending. It's a change in uh, verticality. Just do the old quick save. Before I run into some trouble. Alright, so where does this take me? I think to the... Nope, just a dead end. Okay. Let me check out my... Uh... Durability should be fine for now. Another alpha.
If I stand right in front of him, the other guys should be able to get to me. No, we can't. He can walk. Okay, it's a two-tile. Alright, take out the ads first. Best strategy for any boss fight. Probably sprinted there. Gain some more distance on this guy. So let's do that actually. Or not. It's fine. Okay, you should only be able to get two attacks on me here. Or one, even better. shape, but that's okay. Alright, so we could take the stairs. But I did reactivate the, uh, the elevator. That's how many floors there are. Two more floors. I'm curious. We'll do both, probably, the stairs and the elevator, see if they take us to different locations. So, you know, some areas might be blocked off where others are... are not. Wait, the stairs force me to alert possible intruders detected sentry bots have been activated. Hmm. So this should be the second level, correct? Increased by eight, intimidation increased by five. Well, I may as well equip the other one, right? Well, there's the elevator. I guess there wasn't a lot of reason to take the stairs over the elevator. Ah, screw it. We'll just fight him. Okay, well, I'm incapacitated for two turns. Not going as well as I would have liked, that's for sure. Maybe they're out of flashbangs now, then I'd start fighting back. Hmm. Maybe having a sledgehammer here would be a better idea. And by maybe, I mean it would definitely be a, a good idea. That's okay, though. We'll, uh... I guess we can stand our ground here. Whatever. As long as I don't get dazed or incapacitated anymore, I should be fine.
Good news is, only crits can hurt me. Yeah, I know, it's in rough shape. But it should last this fight, then we can... Worry about the rest. Alright, come on. Let me get you. Oh, come. <laughs> Probably gonna miss this attack as well. Like, I don't want to say I don't feel like I'm getting cheated, but I feel like I'm getting cheated. I've missed, like, how many of my 83% chances? Thank you for finally cooperating. I appreciate it. Alright, we won. Now let's repair our stuff. Alright, mechanical repair kit on this bad boy. Back up to 194, and I have patch kit somewhere for my armor. Alright, we're in good shape. Very, very long fight. If I find another sledgehammer, I might just keep one handy. Despite how, uh, how heavy they are. Registration plate. This must be a vehicle registration plate from United Stations. You can only wonder how it got here. Mm -hmm. And a flashbang. Yay. I'll do that in a minute. Let's go up here. Oh, well that would've been nice to have a second ago. Shotgun shells, bolts. Other stuff, another Omega ID card. Um, emergency hatch. Oh, okay, I see it right there. Neat. Can't believe I beat him in his uh, initiative. Another Omega ID card. Okay, I'll hack this as well, even though I don't necessarily have to. It's fun. More protectorate propaganda. I won't worry about the trapdoor just yet. We know it's there. 
Warehouse inventory list. Uh, partially readable, but probably very outdated inventory list. That gives me two. Two XP. An Omega ID card and a health hypo. Speaking of health hypos, let's go ahead and uh, bandage ourselves up. There we go. Because any fight could be my last. Encyclopedia fragment. It's hard to make out the fate. It's hard to make out the faded out pictures in dirt stained text. Mixed with the things you recognize are also alien looking landscapes and weird, often immense creatures. Oh, we're at the level up again. What level's next? Six. That means a new feat. Man was killed recently. Blueprint for Caltrops. Emergency hatch key. Okay. Scope, seeker lens, electromagnetic discharger, laser emitter. Okay. Bunch of crafting stuff. More protectorate propaganda. Alright, I'm gonna explore the ventilation shafts before we go into the emergency thing. Glad I just changed to my spear. It wouldn't have mattered if I changed to my spear in combat, but. My instincts were a tingling. I'm like, I'm gonna run into an enemy in one of these ventilation shafts because I remember doing it before. There's still those two other rooms I couldn't get into. I have to find a way to break down the, uh... That wall so I can get inside. That's the only challenge they have to offer me, then I'll uh, I'll take it. Let's see here. Should be along the western hallway. Yep. Uh, let's just double check this one. I need two more XP and I get to level up. I don't know what feat I'm getting next. Because right, again, most of my spear feats are uh, require two more dexterity. And I need also need two more intelligence for uh, exposed weakness. I think it's two more intelligence. According to my uh, character sheet in front of me, it is two more intelligence. I don't think Spear Guardian requires. 
It's around in the corner, so he can't hit me. There we go. I'll teach you to mess with me, you dirty rat hound. This should also take us to the western hallway. Western side of the, uh, yeah, level. Now, what about you, friendo? Yeah, you just circle around this way. Alright. I believe that's the whole ventilation system on this level. Yeah. Looks to be the case. Now, as for this wall... Don't worry about it right now. Let's go check out the emergency hatch. Let's quick save before we head down. It's a raider. It took you long enough. Hey! She levels her crossbow with the old man. I thought you said we got everyone, Gramps. You do. You do. He ain't with us, I swear. Don't move a muscle, Jack. Who the hell are you? They call me Adahan. <laughs> that's uh, that's a reference to Planescape Torment, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna say it. And hey, what are you doing here? Uh, why are you holding this man hostage? I'll be asking the questions here. Why are you here? Uh, actually, I'm from the Southgate Station, and I'm looking for something. Intelligence Intimidation. They both seem to be taken aback a bit when you mention where you're coming from. What should SGS want with this place? It ain't got nothing you people don't have already. And how did you get down here? You can only open the hatch with the key. Where's Max? How do you get the key from him? I'm afraid Max is dead, sis. I shot him between the eyes. What's it to you? Bastard, I'm gonna rip your guts out. Are you though? Oh, okay. Yeah, that didn't go well for you. Spare my life, I beg of you. Feel the pain. Who yells that in combat? Thank you for killing those bastards, but I'm afraid there's more of them. Uh, what's go what is going on here exactly? They stormed our barricade. They killed some. The others are held hostage in the dining hall. Uh, who are they? I don't know. Slavers, maybe? Or just common bandits? I didn't hear them say what they want before I was dragged here to help them access the upper levels. Are they well armed? Most of them have pistols. There might be more of them with crossbows. Oh, and there's this guy with a sledgehammer. They don't have much, har they don't have much armor on as far as I could tell, though. Uh, who are they? I already asked that. A barricade. There's a breach that leads, in leads to the caves. Don't know how long it was there, it's how we migrated here. We set up a barricade with an auto turret to protect it, but it didn't do us much good today. Uh, so what do you propose we do? I have an idea. They destroyed the auto turret at the barricade because they were ready for it, but there's still another deactivated one near the elevator. If you could activate that turret while they're not expecting it, it'll rip them to shreds. At least those out in the hallway. It'll make dealing with the rest of them easier. Uh, so how do I activate the turret? Just left of the elevator, there's a surveillance room. Security console is there as well. The problem is, it's locked. Maybe Sully has the key card, but I think he's being held hostage in the dining hall. You have to hack your way into the surveillance room, and then hack the console to gain access to the auditory controls. Alright, got it. You stay here. Good luck. Oh, and by the way, be sure to turn the turret off afterwards. It might think you're an intruder as well, and shoot you down if you'd come near it. Okay. Ladder room keys, armor and stuff, okay. Well, I could do this. We'll go through the ventilation shafts first, and then we'll, uh... See, I'm playing Scape Torment. A Don. Uh, if you basically, if you lie enough and tell people that you're a Don, he manifests. Because uh, that's kind of, that's how you know, Planescape works. 
And it's, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's a really cool reference. Wasn't expecting it. Mega ID card? Ooh, really close to leveling. Alright, locker. Level 1 storage key card. Some batteries. It still has two more hacks left in it. Didn't mean to do that. Uh oh. All right. Well, they found me. Um, eat grenade. I don't have enough to actually hit him. That's fine. At most, he comes up and hits me once. Oh, well, there's another guy. We'll probably be okay. Have a health hypo, I'll have to take this turn though. That takes care of him. Yeah, the ventilation shafts would probably be the best way to have handled this, but this is fine. I do need you to stop running away because uh, you can't hurt me anyway. Just chill out. Stand here and die like a man. Maybe if I hit him with some furry knives. Mostly because I'm tired of chasing him down. Son of a gun. Really? There we go. Jeez Louise. Alright. Hey, a lockpick. I was just wondering. What, uh, I was just thinking, hey, I'm gonna have to replenish my lockpick soon. Looking for. Oh, there we go. Mega ID card. Oh, I can't study it again. It's like, sweet. I'm gonna level up here. Nope. It was not to be. Another Omega ID card. <laughs> Foot locker. Vigorous belt. Health by 30, agility decreased by 2. I don't want to decrease my agility though, so. Alright. Everyone out here is so prudent with their locking. locking up all their goods and everything. Ah, 
Now I'm gonna finish exploring the ventilation shafts. Might save that for uh next episode though. Uh, security scope, GMS compound, hack, attempt to gain level 1 access, hacking successful, access upgraded to level 1, security, alright, I don't need the, uh, the turrets, that's where I killed those guys, that's where all the, uh, people are being held hostage, okay. Oh, another Molotov. All right, let's go through the uh, ventilation shafts real quick. A jammed ventilation shaft. It's weird that all the ventilation shafts are different systems like that. So if I go over to like this one. There should be another system. Yeah. This should be the last one as well. Oh yeah, I do need to go loot those bodies before I forget. So I want that sledgehammer to uh break down those rocks. Or the wall on the previous level. The health hypo blueprint. Oh, already know it. Don't know the cow chops though. It's my weight, yeah. I'm fine weight wise. So adaptive goggles. This is the cave they were talking about. Protectorate propaganda, here we go. About to level up. Bloomberg's key. All right, skills, throwing, melee, hacking, lock picking, mechanics, electronics, tailoring, and intimidation. Oh, I guess I could do yell next as my, uh, don't have shield arm yet, so it doesn't matter. I don't have a shield yet. So then we get yell here. Uh, you can initiate an intimidating shout in an attempt to reduce combat readiness of surrounding enemies and remove them from stealth. All affected enemies will have their offensive skills reduced by an amount equal to 35% of your intimidation skill for three turns. Which is a big part of my, uh, my build. Have I been in these ventilation shafts yet? Sure have. Alright, we'll explore this room real quick, then we'll call it an episode. Okay, a bunch of knives, I'll take it. You don't mind me, everybody. I'm just uh, looting all your stuff now. I think next episode we'll start off by trying to break down the wall on the previous floor. I think I explored everything here. Uh, there seems to be something wrong with the elevator door. Try to fix it. You manage to repair the door and the elevator can once again travel to this level. You know what, we'll just try to break the wall real quick. And it'll, uh, it'll be okay. You know what? 
no, we're going to call it here. Next episode, we'll take care of this. And then we'll head down and deal with the raiders. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.